What you're looking at on the screen is something I found on Google Maps. It's located next to a cemetery in the woods, and I'm calling it a rather strange anomaly. It looks like, or almost appears to be, a perfectly round circle. And with the reflection, it could be a body of water. Now, it could just be a trick of the eyes, an illusion with the map image, but it does appear to be nearly perfectly round. And coincidentally, it's located next to a cemetery. Since this is most likely not a material object, it's either natural or man-made, I'm thinking it's still gonna be there, but I don't know what it is, don't know why it's there. But hopefully, we'll answer those questions. If you'd like to find out as well, all you need to do is come along with me. So I have arrived here at the cemetery, and we have to venture into the woods to find this possibly strange anomaly of a perfectly round circle. The one unfortunate thing I'm coming across is that people are using this as a dumping ground. People are discarding items here in the woods just next to the cemetery. But I do encourage you to watch to the end because I do have a little pleasant surprise for you once we do arrive back at the cemetery after we do find our Google Maps object. Check out my location on Google Maps. So I am following a faint trail here. I just found a tree stand. But it's taken me away from the target. Target appears to be up in that direction. Saying so to scale that hill and hopefully it should be up there just a couple hundred yards. Made some pretty good progress. I climbed the hill, which we're standing on top of now, and that was trickier than I was anticipating. Leaves were super slick. A lot of the leaves were covering some buried branches and twigs. So I lost my footing a few times. Definitely got a good workout climbing that. And we're heading in the right direction. It should be no more than a few hundred feet in this direction. All right, so I do see some wood attached to a tree, like a tree stand there. And I do see a depression beyond that. That may or may not be our target. I'm gonna get over there, check it out, and update you from there. Yeah, it looks like someone attempted to make a tree stand. Well, I think we found our location. Here is the, what I'm calling strange anomaly, a nearly perfectly round circle in the woods. And it is indeed a body of water. It's not perfectly circle. It's not a perfect circle, but it is pretty close. I have a few questions though. First thing I'm noticing is that there is some orange fencing around it. As like a barrier, or at least there was at one time, it's mostly toppled down now. Is this natural or man-made? That's the question I have. How deep is it, is my next question. And was this used for anything? Now it looks like it does get fed when it rains up here. I can see like a makeshift creek bed or a stream bed that flows into it. Right there. It is partially frozen. Not a surprise because it's around 29 degrees right now. Actually, I do hear water trickling as we speak. This might be, might be constantly fed or could be ice melt from somewhere. I do have some ideas though. Hmm. I actually came here prepared. I was anticipating water and I'm glad there is. And I actually brought my action camera with my waterproof housing. I'm gonna put this in the water. This extends up to seven feet long. And maybe we'll get ideas to Some animals making noise. Again, idea is to, if there's anything in the water, whether it be an object or wildlife, possibly how deep it goes. It does go in gradually. It's not <clears throat> a straight drop. So 
I don't know if we're gonna be able to get good visibility. I could see into the water with the ice cover, that's gonna obstruct visibility a bit with the sun coming through, but let's see what we could do. We'll get you guys in the water and see if we could have some more answers to our questions about what I'm calling the strange anomaly in the woods. All right, I have you guys sitting there on the edge. I'm gonna to try to find, maybe I'll try right here. There's a little clearing right here, breaking the ice. If that doesn't work, I may go to the other side where there's less ice. I'm gonna extend this all the way out. I think that's as far as it goes. So I'm recording on both cameras. I'm not gonna know what's down there until I edit this video, so let's hope for the best. Oh, there's, I broke through some more ice. I can actually see the camera under the ice. So I'm near the end of my reach. Um, pressing down, okay, I finally touched bottom. So it does get deeper as we go. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it gets pretty deep. If I was standing where the camera is right now, it'd probably be over my waist, maybe close to my chest. So I don't know how deep the middle is. All right, let me try another area. You guys hang out there. All right, I'm not gonna be able to get a deep reach, but I just wanna see what it's like beneath the surface since there's no ice here. It does seem deeper over here though. It's going down at a pretty steep pitch here. Not the most clear water, but I've seen worse. I think the camera lost tracking on me farther away behind the trees. But you guys should have been able to hear me still. I'm attempting to come down here where the, I'm calling the stream bed or creek bed feeds into it. Without knowing the water conditions, I wouldn't be totally against snorkeling this in the warmer months. But honestly, I don't know what kind of water this is. It could be highly contaminated and polluted, but it's just a thought that's crossed my mind. All right, we've got a break in the ice. I'm gonna start on the left, scan to the right, and we'll see how it looks. At least the sun's showing. There's some ice just outside of the reach of the camera.
I'm gonna go back to the middle and then try to press down and see how deep it goes. So I'm right at the surface and now I'm gonna go down. Yeah, it, it's definitely deeper in the middle without a doubt. It's impossible for me to say how deep it is because you know we're at an angle here. But if I was to guesstimate, it'd be over my waist, maybe even higher. If I was standing out there, I'm probably guessing the middle be clear over my head. I do have a couple of thoughts and theories about what this is or what it was. And maybe I'm in the ballpark, maybe I'll be completely off, but I'm thinking a couple of different things. Number one is that this could just be something natural that formed, could have just been a depression in the earth here. Water found a way to flow into it, flows to the lowest spot and fill this up. That's one theory. And that would make it completely natural. Number two is that something was going on here where this could have been an open pit or a shaft or something like that that's now filled up with water. That's another theory. Without knowing what's at the bottom or how deep it goes, it's impossible to say. If it was an open pit or shaft, it could be plugged up and this is just the top section of it now where water has collected. Also could have been maybe an old home site in the area, and this was a spring source or a well of sorts. Or there could have been a business or a production that was relying on water, and they built this to collect water to siphon it for whatever use, whether it be a mill or something else. Those are a couple things that do cross my mind. I'm about really 50-50 if it's natural or man-made. That's where you guys come into play. I want you guys to tell me what you think. Do you think any of those possible theories are pointing in the right direction? Or do you think it could be something else? It's obviously not, it's not a, a completely desolate area. There is homes a few hundred yards away, cemeteries over there. There's tree stands here, so people come hunting. Somebody did put this fencing here. But this makes me wonder how it got to be almost a perfect circle and that it's just sitting out here near a cemetery for many decades. More questions than answers like usual. Got some pictures. I think we documented the best way we could from land and beneath the surface. As I mentioned, hopefully you're still watching because I want to take you back to the cemetery because there is something out over there I want to show you that I think you'll really enjoy. Those of you still watching, thank you for doing so. I did tell you I want to show you something, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So first off, this is my very first time at the cemetery. I've never been here before until today to make this video. Upon coming here, though, I did see several beautiful headstones, monuments, statue-like pieces, even a mausoleum, just some things I've never seen before, or if I have seen them, they're in greater detail, much better condition here. And also, if you notice, all the grave sites behind me are all facing that direction. The reason why is because of this. The view in the background. A spectacular view of the valley and everyone that's laid to rest here is facing that direction. They have a beautiful final resting place. This by far is probably the only cemetery I've ever been to that offers a view like that. I've seen great views in other places. I've been to many other cemeteries but none to offer a view like that. This is really a truly beautiful place. It's really well kept, well manicured, some beautiful headstones, grave sites, statues, monuments, but the view itself can't be beat.
as I take in this view, I want to thank you for coming along for this latest Google Maps find. I think this is my first time ever doing a strange anomaly like this. All my other Google Maps adventures have always been things that are placed in location by man. This one is unique. It's different. I want to hear your thoughts on what you think it is or what it was. To see more adventures just like this, check the playlist down below. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.